All right. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, to the apostles of Great Millstone, say double honors be unto you, to all the archaeums who's pushing the truth and sincerity and truth, to the over on the four corners of the earth, I say shalom be unto you. This is the word and the GMS show in that camp. Just to bring out a quick video to the spirit of the Mosai, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, that I you I see is reprobate. Yeah, reprobate. Because just a couple of days ago, 800 and so forth of them marched through the streets against crime and against men committing crime against each other and they're trying to stop that crime going on. But are you I see you all don't know the scriptures? If you had known the scriptures, then you will have known about the times that we are living in. And because you don't know or you don't observe that time that we're living in, the Mosai has put in a reprobate spirit upon you. I'm just here to bring down the house of IUIC and to show you how they have a reprobate mind and the Mosai has put them over to the reprobate mind. You can tell me in 2018, the year uh, of prophecies, all these prophecies unfolding, and you big so-called Israelites marching through the streets to stop crime. So you trying to say that the Mosai know we doing your hand wash them and wash Start off on Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Take not that I am come to send peace on it. I came not to send peace but a sword. For I am come to set a man at vengeance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter in law against her mother in law. So, when you look at the prophecies, or even what Yahweh said, when in Revelation, wars had to happen. Certain things had to happen on this face of the earth for Yahweh Shai to come back and claim us. Wars had to happen. Farming had to happen. Destruction had to happen. The wicked had to get destroyed had to happen. All these things had to happen. So when you marching in the streets against crime and all these things had to stop, you really marching against prophecy. You really marching against the prophecies of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Rishai. You are not the Most High Yahweh Hashem Rishai, are you? I see. You are the devil, your father, with the so called white man, with Esau. You are just manifesting yourself and showing who you really are in this world. And I can safely say you are not part of this truth. Because if you were part of the truth, that's what GMS, Great Millstone, all the way from the apostles come down to the spirit of the most high, how about Shem and Shai, let's be preaching. You will have known the time you're living in. And that bullshit you're doing in the streets about marching against crime. That wasn't through the spirit of the Most High. That was through Esau. The wicked, the white man is where you following. You ain't at the house of the Most High. How about Shem and Shai? Um, so this is Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and be in deceit. After the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Mashiach. At no time did Yahweh Shai say, Go out on the streets, 800 men, and march against crime and march against violence. Where is in the scripture you ever saw apostles rise up and go out on the streets and say, Stop crime and violence or whatever? I know that the Mosai gave that command. Are you, I see, are you a reprobate? Are you a reprobate? Are you, are you just deserve destruction, boy? 
So there is First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. But when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, and travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, you are you I see you are gonna escape that destruction. You already set your place for that hellfire. You already set your place for that when I say hellfire, don't take my words and take it literal. That hellfire coming back to them missiles. That's going to be hitting only four corners of the and destruction when World War Three break out. That was a special missile for you, are you, I see? But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. So it means that we who are in the truth on the great millstone, all the way from the apostle straight down to all the accounts, he pushing his truth and pushing. The truth that is not within these other camps who just profess, just literally manifesting that reprobate mind that you have. No, men who teach in the truth according to this book, the Bible, and according to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Rishai, and the truth and spirit of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Rishai. These are the men I'm talking about. We are not in darkness, we are in light. And because they 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 showing that that kind of you know uniform unity kind of army Esau kind of thing, well 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 Jakes and Jakes meaning Jacob well Israelites gonna fall for them and join them and they know that that, that is not the truth, that is not the truth. They just they just fooling they just gonna fool once at Jakes, um Second Timothy chapter four and verse three. Um, Salakia chapter 2 and verse where is my Timothy yeah Salakia 4 and verse 3 but time will come when they will not enjoy sound doctrine but after they will lust shall they heap to themselves teachers have an itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables so yeah, the, the doctrine that IUIC pushing right now and preaching about peace on this earth, you know, peace. It's ain't gonna have no peace on this earth, and I ain't want no peace on this earth. I want destruction. That's the Lord how about Shem and Shaika. That's the only way prophecy is gonna fulfill. That's the only way you're gonna be taken out of this kingdom through these prophecies fulfilling which is destruction. So you're talking to me about peace. You wanna live in this earth, peace? You're not going to live in Esau really in no peace out here. Um, Titus chapter 1 and verse 16. They profess that they know Yahweh, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and on the every good work reprobate. Yeah, you're just manifesting your works unto the most of Yahweh and showing him that reprobate mind that you have, are you, I see. You always have the devil. That's where you have the devil. You are not, not the Mosa Yahweh Shem and Shai. You are the Mosa Yahweh Shem and Shai. You say, show me your fruits. You know, no fruits to show. You're showing all your reprobate mind that you have. That's all you're showing. Um, Romans chapter 1 and 28. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind. To do to do those things that are not convenient. That shit that you're doing on the streets, I see is not convenient. In any way it is not convenient. It's not convenient at all. I just wanna bring up this for you. The meaning of reprobate according to the dictionary. An unprincipled person. He had to present themselves as more of a lovable reprobate than a spirit of corruption. So it goes back to good for nothing, wretch, <laughs> degenerate, a sinner who is not of the elect and is predestined to damnation. Yeah, 
you are you I see you reprobate mind thus said the Lord your heart was from your shy destruction be unto you you just manifesting yourself the truly spirit of the most high and say Shalom see your heart was from your shy to the apostles of great millstone double honors be unto you this is the word from the GMS great millstone trainer that camp so we a quick video to the Spirit of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, and Shai. To all the Israelites out here who are the Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, I hope this video was edifying to you. And stay strong, we soon go home, Yahweh, Hashem, and Shai.